Hi guys! In this video, I will teach you on how to convert radical expression to rational exponents. So we have here this form, the nth root of x raised to m is equal to x raised to m all over n. This one is the general form for radical expression and this is for the expression with rational exponents. So as you can see, we have here three variables, x, n, and m. In this part, the variable x here is what you call the radicand. This one is the base. And the variable n in the radical expression is the one that you're calling as index. And here, in the expression with rational exponents, it became the denominator of your exponent. And the variable m here is the exponent of your radicand, while on the other side, the variable m is the numerator of your rational exponent. So I have here four different examples to work with from radical to rational exponents. So let's start. In number one, I have the square root of x. In radicals, if you can see a number in the index part, automatic, this one is 2. And as you can see, your radicand doesn't have the exponent. It is invisible. Meaning, then the exponent of your radicand is just 1. Now, following the pattern of radical form to exponential form, simply, your radicand will be the base. And then, the exponent of your radicand will be the numerator of the exponent of the rational exponent. And then, the index, 2, will become the denominator. Therefore, the answer, or the converted form, of the square root of x is equal to x raised to 1 half. For example number 2, we have the cube root of x raised to 5. This is our index. And this is our, this is the exponent of your radicand. Your radicand is x, therefore, the base will be x. Now let's change the marker. So, simply, you need to write 5 at the top or at the numerator of the exponent. And then your index, which is 3, will be the denominator. Meaning, the converted form of the cube root of x raised to 5 is simply x raised to 5 all over 3. Let's proceed with number 3. The fifth root of 7 cubed. This is your radicand, so that will be the base. 7. Your index is 5, and the exponent of your radicand is 3. Therefore, we have here 7 raised to 3 all over 5. Next, let's go with number 4. This one is quite different from number 1, 2, and 3. We have here the 4th root of 8 and raised to 6. So there are different ways on how to convert it to rational exponent when you watch different videos on YouTube. So this is my practice. I will treat this one as a whole expression. And I will enclose it by parenthesis, meaning the exponent of the whole radicand, 8 and raised to 6, is just 1. So if in, fo in following this pattern, it will be converted as 8 and raised to 6 to the quantity of 1 all over 4. And then, I know that the invisible exponent of 8 is 1. So I can use power of power to multiply the exponents of the bases. The exponent of 8 is 1, so 1 times 1 fourth is simply 8 raised to 1 over 4. The exponent of n is 6, meaning that is 
and raised to 6 all over 4. And we all we also know that your number 8 can be simplified into 2. So we have here 2 raised to 3. Or can be expressed as 2 raised to 3. And then times 1 fourth. Then after that, your n can be simpli the exponent of your n can be simplified as n raised to 3 over 2. Now simplifying the exponents of 2 and n, that will give us 2 raised to 3 all over 4, n raised to 3 over 2. This is the answer for number 4. That's it. In con now this time, let's have the conversion or the writing of rational exponent to radical expression. I have here four different examples, and this is the pattern. We have here x raised to mn, x raised to m all over n is equal to the nth root of x raised to m. Again, as you can see, this is the base and this is the exponent. The base here will become the radicand, and for the exponent of the for the rational exponent your n or your variable n will become the index and the variable m will become the exponent of your radicand. So let's start. In number 1 we have 3 raised to 3 over 2. Basically, you need to create your radical symbol and then put the radicand which is 3 here inside the radical symbol and then the denominator of your exponent is 2 therefore the index is 2 and then the, the numerator of your exponent is 3 therefore that 3 will become the exponent of your radicand and since this one is 2 so you will make it invisible and then simplify it as the square root of 9 that's it for number 1 now for number 2, we have 6 raised to 1 half. Simply create your radical sign. Put your 6 here inside the radical symbol as your radicand. Since your denominator is 2, automatic, the index here is 2. And then your exponent, the numerator of your exponent is 1. Therefore, you will put here 1. So we need to make the these numbers as invisible. So we have the square root of 6. For number 3, we have 5 raised to 3 all over 4. Write a symbol of radicals. You have here 5 as your radicand because the base is 5. Now, since your denominator here is 4, therefore, this is 4 root. And then, your numerator 3 will become the exponent of your radicand. And simplifying 5 raised to 3, that is equal to the 4th root of 125. Now, for the last example, we have the quantity of 2n raised to 5 all over 3. So, how are we going to translate that in radical radical form. So you need to create your radical symbol and then the base here is 2n. So the radicand will be 2n. And then as you can see the denominator of your rational exponent is 5 therefore this is 5th root. Then after that the numerator of your exponent is 3 Therefore, you will enclose it by the exponent of 3. So we have here the fifth root of the quantity of 2n raised to 3. Applying power of power, we can multiply the exponents of your radicand. Your 2 here has the exponent of 1. Same with n. So we can distribute or multiply 3 to the exponent of 2 and n. So the final answer here, or the answer, is the fifth root of... 
2 raised to 3 n cube and we know that 2 cube is equivalent to So the final answer, for example number 4, is the 5th root of 8 n cube. That's it. So that's how are we going to, uh, that's how you're going to convert rational exponent to radical form. So thank you. Converting radical